No, no, it's always frustrating when you lose. Uh, comes down to a handful of plays, just like we saw today, whether it's us making one, us not making one, them making one, a penalty here. Um, you know, that's what it comes down to. And we've seen that and, you know, there'll be a lot of good plays in there. And unfortunately there's, uh, you know, just some plays in and ended up getting beat, you know, in a close game. Oh, just being appreciative of the people that they're going to go home to and talk to here in the next day or two, because uh, they're really the ones that have supported us and allow us to do what we do and uh, win or lose, uh, support us. And uh, I think that's important. I mean, as difficult as it may be uh, after losing a, a football game is trying to, you know, appreciate the, the people that have helped us get here and have supported us. Ryan, just trying to extend those I don't know. You'd have to ask Ryan. I, I don't know. Certainly would not, you know, those sacks are tough to overcome in two minutes. We talked to our defense about the sacks, you know, really make it difficult, uh, especially when you have to use your timeouts. So, um, you know, we, we got to make sure that we try to get rid of it and we try to get open quicker and that we try to protect a little bit longer. I mean, there's some good things and some things, some plays we'd like to have back. But, you know, all in all, I thought, you know, we were battling, we are competing. Uh, sometimes that's just not enough. Were there many people that you brought in that, that hadn't even been with the team before this week? I mean, how much of a, a victory is in? Zero. There are no moral victories in life. There are no moral victories in professional football. I thank the staff. I thank the players. Uh, but again, we strive for, for much more than that. But, uh, that's plain and simple. That's the mindset that we, that we must have to, uh, to get back out of this thing and, uh, and find a way to win next week. Getting the run game going today, especially early, how much did that help your offense? Well, I mean, it you know, it's tried to open up. We weren't able to hit any play passes, which was unfortunate. Um, you know, we just, but it was good to get the run game going. That was something that, you know, we focused on and talked about. I thought guys did a nice job. You know, could have been better, could always be better. Um, but it was, you know, it was good to see. We just, we need to have, you know, to be able to complement that run game and uh, didn't have that today. Mike, what happened on the delay of game that came after the timeout? Just operation, I guess, just coming out of the huddle or, you know, getting guys lined up. So had some moving parts throughout the game. You know, guys go down, guys get evaluated. Um, and they don't let me call two in a row, so. What did you think of, of Ryan's game after being out for a long time? Uh, just like everybody else's, not, not good enough to win today, uh, including me uh, and everybody else. So, um you know, we have to prepare as a starter every week. Every player that's here has to prepare as a starter uh, at every position, uh, more uh, now than ever. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, Metcalf's I'm not ready to answer that. On uh, Metcalf's touchdown, did they? Did the officials ever make a call? Or did they no, just... I just stood around and looked at each other, and then eventually blew the whistle, and then decided that it was incomplete, forcing Pete to challenge. Oh, it's brutal. You know, you battle, you, know, you keep yourself in the game, find a way to take the lead late. Um, you know, they got the lead and then and we, we didn't do enough to, to score. So, yeah, it's draining. Had guys out there battling, guys, uh, you know, fought through a lot of injuries. Um, you know, guys that didn't practice all week out there putting their, their body on the line, um, battling through the game. Guys stepped up for us. It hadn't played much of a role for us throughout the year, um, but stepped up today and played a lot of quality snaps for us. Um, proud of the guys when we battled, but we just came up a few plays short. Got to find a way to uh, to make those tough plays. The two sacks on the on the last series. Are you just trying to hang in as absolutely long as you can to find something downfield, or what's the thought process there? Yeah, we got. I mean, we got to cover some ground there, right? So you can't uh, be throwing the ball to the check downs and expect to, you know, get the 40 yards we needed to uh, to be able to take a shot, uh, swing at it. So. Um, yeah, we had long developing routes. We're trying to push the ball down the field and, and didn't have time to, uh, to get it off. How do you feel after having not played since October, sort of being in the flow of the game and, and being on the same page with the guys? Yeah, definitely had to get back into the flow a little bit. Obviously, been a little while, um, but felt good to be back out there. 
Um, yeah, I feel like once we, we settled in a little bit, then, uh, you know, felt good. You mentioned on those two sacks there, Ryan, is it kind of a, a narrow line between holding the ball and looking for the receivers downfield as opposed to just getting rid of it and throwing it away? Yeah, it's a super fine line, right? Because um, a lot of times you're able to hit those down the field throws at the last second, you know, get the ball off and at the last second, right? Um, you know, get the backer to, to hold or the safety to run, whatever the case may be, and, and get the ball off at the last second. Uh, those are going to be tight windows down the field. Uh, and they know they know the ball is going down the field. So, you know, it's a tough situation. But, um, yeah, it just takes a little time for, for those things to develop. You, got a couple you, to big you guys were able to reestablish Derek in the run game today. How disappointing not to be able to take advantage of that, though. Yeah, it's, it's tough, right? We did a lot of good things. You know, the, the run game was great. The guys battled up front. Derek got going, had a lot of quality runs for us. Ty J made some huge plays for us as well. So um, did some good things there, but, you know, didn't score enough points. You had a couple of big runs and rolled out a decent amount. How would you feel uh, mobility-wise? No, I felt great. You know, it uh, makes all the difference in the world when you're not on a bum ankle and, and uh, trying to make it work, you know. So, um, yeah, I felt good physically. No, not not yet. Um, yeah, you know, we've had a lot of cool moments together, but yeah, not that wasn't uh, a nostalgic moment, uh, so to say. But uh, yeah, and enjoy obviously every time I get to share the field with Derek. You know, we have a lot of fun together, and um, you know, made a lot of plays and won a lot of games. But uh, yeah, he's uh, he's a fun player to watch. He's a fun player to uh, to call a teammate, and um, and makes a lot of plays for us. No, I was just talking about, I thought he may have had a knee down, right, as he dove into the end zone. Uh, that's why I said it wasn't a nostalgic <laughs> moment at all. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I said, hey, just be ready. We might be on like on the, the one, one inch line. Um, I wasn't sure if your knee was down. Uh, just as I turned back, it looked like he kind of dived and it was close as his, as his knee hit. But, you know, once, uh, obviously, they, re they reviewed it and he was good. Impressed by his, uh, his throw, he seems to have a pretty good uh uh, percentage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's got a good thing going with that. Uh, obviously, great execution, got the great run sell, everyone bit up and, um, you know, was able to execute the throw. That's good. Merry, Christmas. Merry Christmas to you guys. Mine did a great job being physical. Guys blocked. I just made my reads, um, get north and south, and try to make something out of it. They did a great job today. Well, what's been the difference in these one score games this year, Derek? If you guys have always had success in them, and this year it feels a little different. For not winning. That's what it is not. I'm doing enough. How draining is it you have had so many of these games where they kind of ended just like this? And how do you keep kind of getting up off the mat? I'm frustrated. Um, we got two games left. Try to do our best to win those. Tough one today. On a day where you ran the ball as effectively as you guys did today, is, is 17 points just an unacceptable number? 17 just wasn't enough to win. And um, we got to be better. Uh, go back to work this week, um, try to figure it out, and be better next Sunday. How much does this kind of stay with you? I know Coach told you guys to go home and be grateful for the family and all that with the holiday. Uh, is it is it kind of easy to shake it and get in that mode, or does it stick with you? If you care, it wouldn't be easy to, to shake it. So um, that's all I can say about it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.